Hi Virgo, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. So this is going to be a general read for January 2021. Um, keep what resonates and leave what does not also. Bear in mind that spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum. Therefore, the only time by which we tell time is by divine time. You dig what I'm saying? All right. So, um, welcome to the new setup. So we've got the overall energy here, uh, past, present, and future energies here, clarifiers for each, and also some final messages and sometimes a summary from spirit. So we'll see. Um, all of the cards have been pre-shuffled and meditation has happened. So let's get this party started. All right. So first up, Amuata. Amuata. Sage of higher knowledge. Wow, look at her. All right. So let's look and see what the book has to say. I'm going to hold this back up again while we look at this. Okay. Seek what feels true, even beyond the logical. If something doesn't feel right, challenge it and dig deeper. Educate and inform yourself on matters of importance to you. Trust that your mind is strong and bright enough to do, and that you're strong. Bleh. Let's start this over. Seek what feels true, even beyond the logical. If something doesn't feel right, challenge it and dig deeper. Educate and inform yourself on matters of importance to you. Trust that your mind is strong and bright enough to do this. Enhance your self-esteem by researching for information and trusting your intuition to help you discern what is useful and true. Have faith in your own mental abilities. If others have criticized you or made you feel inadequate in understanding, Cast that off as belonging to the past and not relevant to you now. You will become immune to manipulation by others who may be convincing, but not necessarily accurate or helpful. Trust the power of your mind to receive and recognize the answers that you need. You will find your way. Amuata, sage of higher knowledge. Okay. This Earth Warriors Oracle is wonderful. Oh, I'm so happy with it. Okay. First up, Seven of Wands, followed by the Three of Swords, followed by the Eight of Swords. I see why Amuata showed up. You're being defensive as a result of heartbreak and now you have, now you're reeling. Now you're reeling. You are stuck in your head and beating yourself up. This is probably, this, this is, I'm seeing scared and defensive, scared and defensive because you've been hurt, because you've been deeply hurt, which would explain the defensiveness with the seven of wands and also the self-imposed prison with the eight of swords. I mean, I understand that astrologically speaking, that you know, you you are who you are. However, comma, this is, this can be self-destructive, hidden under the guise. This can be self-destruction, 
hidden under the guise of protecting oneself. You know, like that old Dave Chappelle thing when keeping it, keeping it real, when keeping it real goes wrong or keeping it a hundred goes wrong. That's kind of what I'm seeing here because yes, you're, you're defending yourself against every in all things, right? But when we're talking about this, when we're talking about the three of swords, it's like it's deep hurt. It's it's deep hurt. It's heartbreak. It's betrayal. It's how 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 could you do this? Like I expected, I could I would expect this from anyone else in the world, but why you? Why you? And in the healing process, you have secluded yourself and gone away and started looking at, okay, well, what have I done to bring this in? Bad, bad Virgo. And then you start beating. And then this, this defensiveness that you have turned to the outside world is now turned within. And no one can read yourself the right act like you can, Virgo. Oh, oh. So let's clarify. Really, really. Clarifying the seven of wands is the moon, the six of cups, and the King of Wands. So this super sexy, super passionate very charismatic dream come true turned into a bit of a nightmare i i mean okay so when it came time to you know getting together it was wonderful this person was a lot of fun in this deck, the King of Wands is the rock star. Rock stars are a lot of fun. They're life of the party. They run the party. You know, they're, they are, everybody either wants to be them or be with them. And you were, but there were secrets here. There were things going on with this particular character probably probably as it pertains to getting together that the king of wands was sharing his wand with someone other than the agreed upon parties looks like <laughs> I kind of want to cry Virgo like this is this is so oh and so because of that we've got this heartache here and you're you've got the three of swords is clarified by the four of cups the eight of cups and justice I mean I, I do try to stay away from this particular storyline because I see other readers on YouTube too, and this is this is this is a pretty it's a pretty popular story, pretty popular story. But I'm looking at this, and I hey, it's it's popular because that's what's in people's energy right now. But with this Three of Swords, you have become so jaded. 
so jaded and so consumed by how this this person hurt you that you you you've you have shut yourself away walked off eight of cups and have called on and, and made a judgment call called for justice spirit i can't take this anymore can i, I need you to come in here and take care of this this is neat this doesn't even take care of my lightweight this is i need i need you to come in and in in and intercede for me because this pain is too much this pain is too much i can't i can't feel it i can't feel it i've got to get away from it i can't think about it anymore I, I can't think about it anymore so much so that you wind up missing out on the very gift that spirit was giving you through the heartache because we are human beings because we are human beings we only make change through pain. We say we want to learn without getting hurt, but we, 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 we don't. We will go along a path and as long as we are not hurting, we will go down it and stay down it and mess our whole selves up. And the thing about this, this King of Wands, is that while this King of Wands is so much fun and, and so much fun, there is a huge lesson. There is a huge lesson and a huge gift that was ushered in by this energy, but you are only going to be able to receive it through the pain. Through the pain. So now we are in this, this, this mode of mentally beating oneself up and possibly self-sabotage. Let's see how this works. And we have, <laughs> we've got the six of wands, the two of cups and the eight of pentacles. You are coming out of this. You know that you are in, you know that you are in this self-imposed prison. And because you know that you are in this self-imposed prison, you also know that you can let yourself write the flip on out of it and get yourself lined up to receive the emotional content that you're looking for to receive the actual union, to receive someone who loves the way that you love and, in, and loves in a way that is healthy for the both of you. So you're able to learn how to give and receive wholeheartedly. And you're willing to work on it. You're willing to work on it. You're willing to put in the sweat equity to achieve this because you've already had this passion, right? And this passion led to you ultimately walking away. And when you did call on divine justice, divine justice said, all right, I'm so glad you asked. So glad you asked. Because now we can give you this. And this is what you can invest in. This you can invest in. So let's look at the final messages. So we've got, whoops, let's turn that around. The Seven of Cups, the Hermit, the Ace of Pentacles, and whoops, 
turn that around. And the Six of Wands. So yeah. You found out that you, you discovered that you were being treated like an option. So you pulled yourself away from the situation. Invested your energy into something that was going to actually give you a return. And now you have the victory. You discover that you were being treated as an option. Seven of Cups. And so you took your dignity and you went and you hid. You took your dignity. You went and hid. You invested Ace of Cups in something where you were actually going to get a return and now six of wands hold on six of wands you have victory you will have victory <sighs> all right virgo thank you for spending some time with me today And until we meet again, be good to yourselves and each other. And I will see you all next time. Adios, Virgo.